Kicking ass and taking names. That's what I do. Mostly take names. Do I have anything in common with my character? No. Maybe, yes. I don't, I'm, he, let's just leave it at that. It's scary up here. Coordinating with the, the, the narrative team is uh, pretty simple uh, because we've done it for so long. We have a bit of a shorthand. My thing is to always try to give uh, the whole team as many choices uh, as possible with each line. You know, we may do two or three takes on each line and then they'll discuss and then try to tweak it or just move on. So I think, um, you know, we've done it for so long. Now it's, 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 it's one of the things I like so much about working on Guild Wars is because the people I get to work with are great. And we, uh, you know, we all have a mutual respect for each other. We get in there, we have a few laughs, we get the job done, and hopefully um, everybody out there enjoys it. I see. Farron, listen. You did good. Doing multiple characters for, for Guild Wars is, uh, it's an honor, really. And, uh, and it's, it's actually something that I, I prefer a lot of times because playing like the human male character and then getting to switch into Mordra Moth in, in previous incarnations and now Palawa Joko, it's, it's um, you know, I get to be the good guy and the bad guy. That's, that's, that's rare. I love I love bad guys. I like playing some of the, the big bads. I think it's a lot of fun. You get to uh, stretch your range uh, as an actor, and, and um, quite frankly, it's a little it's a lot of fun. Um, you know, sometimes you have to kind of take that even keel road uh, as the, the the main player character. But um, boy, those those bad guys can have some great lines. So I, I, I revel for that. Joko is in the air and the sand. He is the sky and the sea. He is the name whispered on the wind, Joko. If I could give Joko one piece of advice, uh, don't underestimate your opponents, especially when you're not the player character. Done enough games to know that. He's probably not going to end well for him. My favorite thing about voicing Joko is the great writing that I've been given on this project. They've struck this balance of um, evil uh, with uh, uh, humorous, and, and I think that's what makes him one of my favorite characters. He can be threatening and uh, a true evil character, but then will say something that, almost like breaking the fourth wall. It's like sometimes he's playing the evil character and then just will, you know, send a little sidebar about a giraffe or something ridiculous. So uh, I think that's, uh, that's, that, that's my favorite part about him. A question. Do you love pain as I do? Live this long and sensations lose their savor. One yearns desperately for something that can cut through the ennui. Pain is always piquant. But is better to give than to receive, no. Makes one feel alive. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs>